It is special because we constructed the project through the build, operate, and transfer model. That is government policy framework for private-public partnership. And under it, we were able to get an entrepreneur, uh, bar and bench publishers limited. We entered into an MOU for them to construct a befitting uh, uh, press for us, printing press for us. After the MOU, we gave them the land. They constructed and put equipment and machines in the printing press. Today, I can say without fear of any contradiction that this is the best printing press that you have in Mesura State. And we have entered into an agreement. Bar and Bench will run the, the outfit for a number of years. When they are done with their cost of construction and the profit that we have calculated, they will make good the facility and they return it back to the university. We are very happy and excited about the project because most of our printing, or virtually all our printing are done here. And as you are fully aware, a lot of the printing in the university are security printing, answer booklets and so on. So let me have the honor of uh, inviting uh, Onoja-san to give a small brief on the project before we invite His Excellency, the Governor, to commission the project as happily represented by His Excellency, the Deputy Governor. Son. Your Excellency, the Governor of Nasrawa State, happily represented by the Deputy Governor, uh, the, all the guests there, let me stand on the existing protocol because I know it's a very brief ceremony. It's a great pleasure to be here today to be counted as one of the stakeholders and partners of the institution to bring this project to friction. We are happy to partner with this investor to establish this model printing press, the first of its kind in Nasrawa State. It's, as uh, the VC said, it's based on build, operate, and transfer for 10 years. We are happy to commence it today, and uh, we thank the school specifically for the cooperation they are giving to us, and the expected cooperation that we want to have from them as we go on. We are private individuals, we are not government, we brought our funds here, and we brought it here on the confidence and on the understanding that we have a free hand to operate. And from what we've seen so far, it's very good. Uh, we've seen a lot of cooperation and we thank the institution for this. Uh, what we have here is capable of printing any document. I said maybe money cannot print here. You can print any document here, good security document for examinations. And we are receiving a job from outside the university also, from other institutions in the state and even from Abuja. Most of the law publications from Abuja have been done here. So it's a big place, and uh, I'm happy that the TED Fund and the other organizations are here. Now that we are here, we want to go to patronize us so that it will be a model for other entrepreneurs that want to come and partner with the school because the opportunity is here, the business is here. And then when you are in the midst of professors, you know that what you publish here will be well scrutinized to be to any standard. So we are all welcome here today. I thank uh, specifically the VC and all my partners that are here with me, especially my father for the past 26 years, in you know, a that came all the way to be here, and also my wife, who is here today, because uh, you don't joke with your wife, especially if you have to, if you have to invest something like this here. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of uh, a lot of stress to convince him that to come to here to come and invest, to put this money here. I thank my father, Engineer Marco, you, my wife, and also my father-in-law, uh, Daddy, who is also here. Uh, he gave me his daughter, even when I had nothing. I'm so pleased with him, and I see he should come here today. My senior brother is also here, uh, Dr. Alima is here, and then the chairman of Unity Bar Abuja, 
Moses able to raise up your hand this year. So we are all proud to be a member of this community. Thank you very much. supported him and allowed him to come this way to support us in Nazara State and all members of his entourage. I must say that um, this is a model and I think that others will emulate. Government cannot continue to give you all the resources you need all the time. It's a high time we looked outside the box. And this is one of those instances that the Comrade VC and the management of the university is looking outside the box. Because no matter how much resources you get from the sponsors of this university, it will never be enough. Education is expensive, and wherever I can get resources to support your ventures, the better for it. And I thank the bar and bench publishers for the confidence you have and in the university to be able to bring your resources to invest in this place. We call on other investors to emulate you and bring in more resources to develop other aspects of the university and education generally in the state. It is my single honor on behalf of His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Nassau State, to commission this project, a build, operate, and transfer project that has a life span of 10 years, after which, according to the Vice Chancellor, it becomes a property of the university. But I hope that. Um, at that point, you have the proper understanding and the management of the facility. It's not enough to have it. It's more important to manage it and manage it well. And so, I therefore commission this project in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 